Hello and welcome to another Dad Jones Films unboxing. In this unboxing, we're going to unbox a Lucinda lighting kit. And what this uh, lighting kit is going to have is going to have three umbrella lights, which you know basically is the umbrella with the lights uh, on it. Uh, also, you get three bulbs to go with it. You're going to also get some backdrops with it. You'll have three of them. You'll have a black, a green, and a white, and all the stuff, the stands, and everything that's going to come with it. So anyway, if you, do, if you want this, you can go down on the link in the description and go ahead and purchase for yourself. Uh, personally, I think it's probably worth $62, but I'll know for sure as soon as I get done with this uh, unboxing. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to the unboxing. But first, ha, something to drink. Mm. I was thirsty. Okay, here we go. We got the box right here. All right, so uh, let me get that uh, just a little bit so I can have it right there in the middle. But uh, here's the box right here. And what we're gonna do, we'll go ahead and open it. Uh, we'll go ahead and try this. This is the old, uh, old key I got, got in one of my uh, nerd block boxes. I think it's a Zelda key or something like that. Even though it's not a knife, but it'll probably work pretty good on cutting this box. And it'll do for now. Now while fast forwarding this, I'm going to also show you how to set it up. One more thing to note is you don't want to cut this with a long blade because you can mess up some of the stuff inside like the umbrella and stuff. But anyhow, I'm going to show you how to set this up because no other unboxing show you how to set this stuff up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and lift that, which is pretty cool. It comes with its own bag. That's neat. Oh, that's a nice bag. Now the bag itself is probably worth $62. One of the back rubs. Back up. Back up. Also, I got this package in there. And in this package, there are three back drop holders in there. And here are the pictures to show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, here are the clamps that you use to clamp down your backdrops. You end up getting three of them, and they are about four inches. Okay, up next, here are the light bulbs. There are 45 watt light bulbs, 120 volts, of course. You'll get this one pack, and then you get like a half a pack of it because you get a total of three light bulbs. It's pretty neat that it comes in this foam, but here's the light bulb right here. And you also get three of them. Okay, right here is the first box of the three studio single head photo lighting fluorescent light holders. This is also a holder for your photo umbrellas as well. And next here we got the umbrellas. You get three of them. They are 33 inches wide. One of them is a Photo Studio Black and Gold Premium Umbrella Reflector. That's the black one here. And the other two are just the white Premium Umbrella Reflector. And all together you have three umbrellas. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and open up and show you what they look like. Don't worry, I don't believe in bad luck. Hee 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 hee. This is my attic, so it doesn't look that pretty up here. But anyhow, here's the umbrella. I'm gonna try to stretch it out so you can see it well. Like I said before, it is 33 inches long. OK, 
Okay, now we'll go ahead and open up the gold and black one, which feels a little different. So I like you kind of spreading apart a uh, rental frat, <laughs> you know. But uh, once you get it open, it's fine. box I think it is the three by seven feet tall aluminum studio quality how output light stand now I'm not gonna lie this is not the best quality but for the price I pay, paid it's pretty darn good so don't expect to have something that's really heavy duty uh, with these stands but like I said for $62 you're getting all this stuff um, you're pretty much getting what you pay for here and it's not a bad quality, really. Okay, I'm about six feet tall, so with this uh, little stand beside of me, you can clearly see where it's actually seven feet tall. I believe I do have it all the way out. I don't feel like taking a camera and put it up there, but you can clearly see that it's a lot taller than I am. Right here, you see me, I just looked up the whole tripod and everything, but uh, just to show it to you. Yep, yeah, next, this is the second one here. I'm not going to show you this one. Uh, matter of fact, I'm not even going to show the third one. Let's go ahead and get to the rest of this unboxing. Trust me, there is three. If for some reason that is not, there's not three stands in there, then you need to go ahead and contact the seller and tell them that, hey, you didn't get all three of your stands. But there is three of them in there. So let's go ahead and go on with the rest of this unboxing. Okay, up next here, you're gonna uh, have another little duffel bag that holds all the, you know, the, the pipes and stuff like that that is used for your backdrop. And also, as you can see here, that's all that's in the box. As you can see here, it's quite smaller than the other bag, but you can still carry it. So let's go ahead and open it up here. After you undo all the Velcros here, it kind of lays out flat and has like little pockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and move everything here so that you can see it better. Okay, as you can see here, there's the little pockets and I'm gonna go ahead and slide all the parts out right here. There's a stand right there and another stand right here and then all the extra pipes to connect them together basically. Sorry, I'm kind of narrating the video as I go on here. Uh, the two, the two uh, pipes on the ends there are the stands and the one in the middle there are the, a bunch of pipes together that connects them together. This is the other stand that I'm unwrapping, unwrapping right here. As far as the quality goes, they are pretty good quality. They're a lot better than the light stands. But uh, even though they're still not, you know, really, really good quality, but they're okay quality and, you know, good for the price that you paid for. Now, as I continue on taking the pipes out of the plastic here, uh, I'm going to read you what it has on the website here. Easy to set up and store, just needs a few seconds. Solid safety, three leg stages. Height is adjustable from 2.4 feet to 7 feet. Width is adjustable from 5 feet to 10 feet. Crossbar consists of four sections, making it simple to adjust the width. Light stands use quick single action locks, providing fast precision height adjustment. Hold, uh, hold muslin, paper, or canvas. And disassembles quickly and easy to, uh, to fit into its carrying cases. You might have seen what I was reading that to you was the little buttons on the end of the pipes. That's pretty much for a quick action lock. And that's what I talked about there. <clears throat> and you can see those letters on the end of the pipes. There's the quick action lock that, I, lock that I was talking about. Okay, from here I'm going to go ahead and switch to the view of me putting all this together. By the way, this is a long video, so if you don't want to see me put, the, put it together, you can go ahead and end this video now. But if you want to know how to put it together, because unfortunately I didn't see no other videos showing you how to put it together, so I guess I will be the first one. And you know something else is kind of weird, that this did not come with instructions 
on how to put it together. So you end up have to sit there and figure it out all for yourself. Luckily, this video right here will show you how to do it. As you can see now, I'm kind of focusing in on the letter A here. By the way, ignore the background of my attic up here. It's a bit of a mess. I've been doing a lot of unboxings and stuff like that. Besides, I'm sure you didn't watch this video to see if I have a clean attic. Now here's the deep hole. Okay, here's one end of the stand right here. I'm going to lift it up and show you. See, that's one end of the stand of, for the backdrop. Now I'm going to take the A pole and I'm going to put it on the stand. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put a washer on there. Then put the A pole on. Then put a washer on top of that. And then you're going to put the wing nut on top of there. Like so. If I can get this to go on. It is a little difficult to do, but... There you go. Oh. Well, it is a little difficult to do, but sooner or later I'll get it on there. Okay, after I got the A-pole on the, um, on the uh, stand, I already did the B one on the other side there. Now, you can go ahead and connect them together like this if you like, uh, or you can add the other two middle poles in there and connect them together the same way. They should slide right in there. Unfortunately, when I got this, I had a problem with one of the poles it would not go in there. It was like a really tight fit. It just wouldn't go in. So what I did is I took a screwdriver like this and I kind of took it and kind of spread out the, uh, the hole a little bit so that it will slide in there. It was a minor little defect, but you know, it's not gonna harm anything by doing that. And it fixed the problem. And I wasn't gonna send this whole thing back just for one little problem. That was easily fixed, as you can see here in a minute. Once I did that, it, slide, it ends up sliding right in there. After I push the button here. There you go, it slid in there and it snapped into place. Okay, right here is how long it is. Not how tall it is, because it goes to seven feet tall, but it's not gonna go seven feet in my attic here. And yes, I know it's dirty. Uh, so this is how long it is. It's pretty long. Okay, let's go ahead and put the green screen on it so that you see uh, pretty much how big the green screen on it is. Okay, you might also notice it doesn't go all the way to the floor like some green screens do. Well, that's because it's, it's, it's wide. Okay, now if you have it vertical, uh, then it will go into the floor and it will go a pretty good ways into the floor. It also has a loop in the green screen there where you can actually slide the pipes through. That is if you want to do the vertical count. Okay, as you can see right here is the light stand and here is the light. And uh, this hole right here is Pretty much where you can put it on the light stand. This is one way that you can put it on there. There's also another way as well on the side. I'll show you here in a little bit. But first on the side, you see that little knob, and that pretty much controls the angle of the light socket. Back here controls on how tight do you want it on the light stand. Okay, as I said before, I was going to show you how to put it on a different way. This is a different way that you can end up putting the light on there. But most of the time, I like to go ahead and put it on there like that. Okay, from there, you want to put your light bulb in and also tighten up everything. Make sure everything is good and tight before you actually put your umbrella on it. And it's at the position that you want it to be. All right. uh, oh, by the way, don't make sure it's not too tight. You don't want to strip this. Remember, this is not top of the line. It's pretty good for the price, but it's not top of the line. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and stick the golden umbrella on there. There's a hole right there to where you can just slide it down in there, like so. Now you can choose how far you want it. You can have it right here. Or you can actually let it go past the little uh, push button that's on the rod itself and bring it 
the light a lot more closer to the uh, umbrella. From there, you just do the same to the other two. All right, from here, let's go ahead and unwrap this and go ahead and switch it on and see what it looks like. There you go, that was my very first time turning this light on. And it seems like it works like a charm. It created a lot of light in there. Which I'll end up showing you a little bit later how much more better light that I have with these umbrellas. Although I will give you advice on the white ones, not on this gold one here. On the white ones, um, to make a soft light look is all you have to do is turn them around backwards and it will give them a soft light look and let the light go through the umbrella which I didn't think about doing that until later on um, after making a few other videos okay with just that one light uh, as you can see right there I've gotten really good light with just one light and of course you see my green screen in the background and stuff like that but just one light gave me a lot of light there but then when I end up using my other lighting um, it did even better light and stuff and also I end up turning a couple of my umbrellas around to give a soft light look because sometimes you can have a little too much light and so I turn my umbrellas around just so I won't have too much light and give me more of a soft light and the light won't be so harsh okay here we go um, here, it is, here it is with uh, um, two lights two lights as you can see I'm getting really good lighting here and you might notice I keep looking at my field monitor and stuff like that, but that's because I'm looking at it and I'm test looking at my lights and stuff like that. Although maybe when I do these videos, I might need to start doing it without my glasses, but jeez, I look real weird without my glasses. You know, so we'll have to keep that on and stuff like that when we're doing this. I also got my overhead light. Um, you know what, let me turn that overhead light off because that, it does add a little bit of a soft light. And so let me turn that off and let's see what that's going Okay, it didn't do much. I mean, having that overhead light did add a little bit of light. But I bet you when I do my other light right there, it's going to give me even more light. So let's go ahead. I also, what I'll need to do is also adjust my camera uh, to take care of some of the white balance in it and stuff like that and the overexposures. Because I might have some overexposure on the camera setting. So. Alright, here is light number three. I'm going to a big shower because I'm kind of close to that. So let's... Okay, I'm going to pause here and pretty much go to the end of my video so you'll see the end result. Alright, well, this is my setup. This is how I like it. Um, I think it looks right. nice. It got a real big mess. So, as you can see, my lighting is much better to say. I give this a 5 out of 5. It, I mean, it does basically what it's supposed to. It's nighttime outside right now. I have to say, the lighting is really good. I'm, I'm, I mean, I have no complaints about this. Uh, so, if you got 60, if you got $62, this is perfect. It gives you the lighting that you want. Uh, of course, you don't have to have it exactly set up the way that I got it. You might be able to set it up a little different to get some a different look. But you know, I'm 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 liking it what I got so far. So let me take the camera off and give you a little tour. This is my setup. I set up. As you can see, it's nighttime right now. Okay, as I said before, you can take these white umbrellas and turn them around and make a soft light. Just at the time of me making this video, I didn't think about doing that. Uh, that clamp right there didn't come with it. That's just an extra clamp that I had. The black clamps came with it. I also took one of the bars. As you can see right there is one of the bars. It might be a little blurry, but that's one of the bars I took out because I want it to be a little higher and of course I'm up in my attic so um, I don't want to get so high because the wall there. Now if you want a green screen or a platform that I go all the way down in the floor 
Just don't leave out one of the bar. Leave it only just uh, the two end bars, and um, you'll have it going all the way, all I mean, all the way down on the floor and stuff. Okay, well that should be about it. Uh, sorry, this has been an extremely long video, and I don't normally like to have my videos this long, but it was a necessary evil. <laughs> uh, basically, because there's no. Whenever I got this, I was trying to find a tutorial on how to put it together and there wasn't any so I decided you know what I'll have to figure out how to put it together myself because it did not come with instructions and I'll go ahead and I'll post a video on how to set it up uh, so that anybody else who gets this uh, product they'll know how to do it. Also sorry about the mess you know of course you know when you're doing these unboxings and setups a mess is about to happen. Well, that's it that's pretty much how you set up this lighting kit i'll have a link down in the description to take you to ebay to get this if you want you can copy and paste and see if you can find it on amazon but anyhow if you're making a youtube channel and you're trying to do it on a budget this is the perfect lighting kit that you want to get for that anyways that's it for this video give me a thumbs up you can catch me on facebook and twitter comment and subscribe thank you and have a nice day